What is up? What is going on, everybody? I am back with the Mariners post game show for tonight's game in Detroit. The Mariners get the W 9 to 2. Um, I'll break it down, go over what I thought was good, what I thought wasn't. There wasn't much wrong today. Um, get into all of it. Before I do, hit the like button, hit the notification button, and hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying my videos. Um, really appreciate everybody that watches and enjoys these. So thank you for the continued support. And hopefully some new people come along and enjoy um, enjoy the videos as well. So let's get into it. Like I said, the Mariners beat the Tigers tonight 9-2. to Get the road trip, a long road trip here for the Mariners. A nine-gamer started out right with a W. Back to 500. So hopefully, hopefully tomorrow they can get over 500. They've been so close. They keep getting back to 500. And they just can't get that next W. So hopefully uh, tomorrow morning they can get that done. But let's focus on today. Starting with the pitching here. Um, Marco was solid. Six innings, five hits, two runs, two earned, one walk, two Ks. Give the home run, I believe, to Rodgers in the fifth inning. Yeah, the fifth. Marco was solid. It's what they need from Marco. He does not have to have 13 strikeouts. Um, doesn't have to be Cy Young. Just needs to be a good back-end rotation guy. That's what he's doing. 4.42 ERA in the season. He's giving them quality starts. 3-0, and not that win-loss record. Matt. I mean, Win loss matters because you need wins to win games, you know what I mean? But in terms of pitchers shouldn't be rated on win losses. Um, but Marco is 3 0, so good for him uh, for that. And, you know, I, I said it a while ago Marco's like the one pitcher on the staff. I don't care about his FIP, his ex FIP. Like, just get me out, get me through it. And, and Marco continues to do that, throw strikes. Um, you know, and just doing a nice job, a perfect number five starter. It's funny to think how many people wanted Chris Flexen to be in this rotation over Marco before the season started. I've always kind of been a defender of Marco. I, to me, Flexen and Marco was kind of interchangeable. I did think Marco's a little better, a little bit longer track record, um, and he's showing it right now. So good outing for Marco. It's always nice when they can get the W in Marco starts because – Mark, he is like the worst of the Mariner stars. We don't know much on Bryce Miller yet. I don't want to put him above Marco yet, but you guys know what I'm saying. So it's always nice to get the W's in these starts and then to roll that rotation back over um, for hopefully the big four now with Bryce Miller in there. Bullpen did its job, got Topa, Saucedo. Not going to get into much there. Um, the game was already pretty much in hand when all three of them pitched. Um, Topa did a nice job working out a first and third nobody out situation, partly um, created by himself as he gave up um, or as he threw um, a potential double play ball away for an error. So good job by the bullpen. Offense erupts, um, at least from the Mariners standards here for nine runs, 11 hits and five walks. Did a real good job chasing uh, former Mariner Matthew Boyd, who only went an inning and a third, five hits, six runs, five earned, four walks, one strikeout. He was really bad. His command was terrible. He was not throwing strikes. Um, he gave up some hard hits. It, that was a really bad outing by Matthew Boyd. The Tigers' bullpen did okay. Um, uh, actually, uh, funny enough, uh, Alexander, the last pitcher who pitched two innings, was the only bullpen guy that struck anybody out. The rest all um, were no strikeouts. But regardless, their bullpen did okay. The Mariners did kind of not add on a whole lot in the middle innings, but they did in the seventh, they did in the ninth. So I guess they, they did kind of add on. Scored a run early. Um in the first inning on a Jared Kelenic RBI single. Kelenic was then picked off with first and third and one out, thinking like, you know, here we go again. But then the second inning, the Mariners work a bunch of walks. Um, JP has an RBI single. Um, Ty France, what, what, you know what? That's so long. What did they all do in the second? JP singled. Um, let's see here. Well, to, to, to start the second, Teo struck out, Murphy walked, Paul walked, Caballero singled, JP singled, Ty France walked in a run, uh, Julio singled, uh, Kellenic grounded into a force out, which got an RBI, and, and Gino walked. So that five-run inning, and that was really kind of it, you know, at that point. And, and listen, Detroit's not a very good offense. Um, so you, when you get those leads against them, you've got to be able to, to hold it. Um, and, and the Mariners were able to do that. So credit to them for doing it. Uh, let's look through the box score here a little bit. JP was one for four, two runs scored, um, RBI and a walk. Ty France, two for four with an RBI and a walk. Julio breaks out, 
three for four, or excuse me, three for five, two runs, four RBIs, and a home run. Huge game for Julio, and, and so such a needed game for him. Um, just been slumping big time and starting to maybe feel the pressure a little bit. Scott's moved him uh, in the order a little bit. I have a video up if you haven't go watch yet saying, can we blame Julio for the start? The quick answer is yes, Julio was not playing very good baseball. I have little doubt that he will get it turned around, and hopefully this is the start of it for Julio Rodriguez um, because, boy, could they use a really nice Julio hot streak right now to get back over 500 and keep this going. But great to see from Julio the two the two singles and then the opposite field home run. I thought that thing was crushed. It just kept going and going. To have that much power the opposite way is really, really impressive. Um, and we know Julio has that, so I guess it's not like a surprise or anything, but really good to see. Um, I thought Julio actually hit the ball pretty well on Wednesday. He had a single. He had what should have been a ringing double that, I don't know if it was Grossman or who it was in left field for Texas that made the catch. So last couple games, Julio's swinging the bat much better. And in his first at-bat, um, I think he worked the count to three and two. So he had a pretty good at-bat, even in the one where, um, in the first inning where he made an out. So good at-bats from Julio. Good results from Julio. Hopefully this is him getting going because, my goodness, do the Mariners need it. They're, I, it's a cliche, but they're only going to go as far as Julio can take them. Now, that doesn't mean there aren't other guys that need to step up too, but Julio is the most important. And if he can get going and get hot, so can this baseball team. Kalanick was one for five with an RBI. I guess he didn't get an RBI. Um he got an RBI single in the first. He should have had an RBI in the second because you can't assume a double play. So I'm surprised he was not given um, an RBI on that. I don't remember the play all the way through, um, but I'm surprised he didn't get two RBIs. G uh, Gino was one for four with a walk and a base hit. Again, Gino's another one that I've talked about in videos that needs to get going for this team. Maybe not as much as Julio, but still needs to get it going and to have a walk and a hit i'll take it reach base twice and four at bats solid I, I will take that i'd like to see the power get going from gino but good to see him on base a couple times good to see teoscar check in with an rbi single again i know we want to see more extra base hits more power but um apologize for any background noise there but take it good for him sometimes you know with these players we want to see the extra base hits come but like look at julio a single on Wednesday, a couple singles, and then the home run. Sometimes it's just that little thing, that little hit to drop in for these guys. They can get things going. So hopefully that's the case with Gino and Teoscar today. Uh, Tom Murphy was one for three with a double and a walk. That was that double was well hit. Again, the opposite way, and that just carried. Tom Murphy's quietly really heating up for this team. Um, and obviously not to the extent of a Julio important, but low-key a guy, that, especially against lefties, they really... They, they need Murph to get going, and, and he's starting to. I think, you know, having missed all of last year hurt, and he's, he's starting to heat up a little bit, um, which is good to see because they need him, especially against left-handed pitching, and even to spell Cal Raleigh a little bit. Like, Cal's going to be catching a lot of innings, hopefully, if this team's in contention um, during the dog days of summer, you know, into fall. The more Murphy can hit and catch and spell Cal, the better for this team. Uh, A.J. Pollock was 0-3, did have a nice walk, which helped start the rally, get the rally going in the second inning, and Caballero was 1-4 for four with a base hit as well. Um, thought the Mariners did a nice job offensively, good approach, um, they spit on some pitches from Boyd, Boyd was not sharp, but that's what you do to pitchers that aren't sharp, so it, it's kind of like in the other games where it's like, we can praise all these pitchers we want for pitching well against the Mariners, but then we can't turn around and, you know, just say, oh, it was bad pitching. That's why they had good offense today. They did a nice job. Boyd was not sharp, like I said. The command was not there. They, they got into deep counts. Um, they, they didn't overthink it. I think sometimes getting on the road can help a little bit, um, not in front of your home crowd. Um, so hopefully the road trip might help this offense kind of get going a little bit. But, yeah, they did a nice job. They, they weren't over-swinging, I didn't think. They worked some good at-bats, some good walks, which really forced Boyd out of this game. Um, you got into the Tigers' bullpen, which hopefully helps the rest of the series. And if you're the Mariners, your bullpen didn't really, you know, pitch anything too high leverage today at all. So, um, you know, listen, Detroit's been playing some pretty good ball this year. Certainly better than I think a lot of people thought. Um, they were 17-19 entering this series. Um 
Mariners are 18 and 19. I will point out the run differential is quite a bit different. Mariners are plus 14, now plus 21 entering um, after today. The Tigers are now sitting at minus 41. So probably a team that's overperforming a little bit would be my guess. I have not looked too much into the Tigers yet. So hopefully this is a series maybe the Mariners can take advantage of. And um, you, you would certainly love to get the sweep now that you've won the first game. Uh, I never try to go for sweeps. I'll take series wins. Uh, because, listen, if you win every series, you're going to be in good position going forward uh, for the rest of the year. So chance to win the series tomorrow with Bryce Miller on the mound. Um, he's been phenomenal in his first two starts. Again, he'll be going up against an offense. His first start was against an A's offense, which is just probably not even a major league offense. Houston's, which has certainly a major league offense, but missing a lot of key guys. Detroit's better than Oakland, but... Still got some holes in there, so an offense that hopefully Bryce Miller can maybe um, take advantage of and have a pretty good outing here. So, you know, good win for the Mariners against a team that's playing some pretty good ball. Detroit was coming off a really good road trip um, in St. Louis and Cleveland where they went 4-2. and two. So they're coming in with some momentum here. Um, you know, and the Mariners did a nice job kind of stopping that momentum, for lack of a better term, um, and getting the W tonight. Do I think the offense is just fixed now? No, I still want to see it consistently, but they needed that. They needed a game like that. Julio needed a game like that. I think more than anybody in baseball needed a game like that. They got a solid effort from Marco. Again, a type of win we saw from this team last year. And back at 19 and 19, and I know we all have some frustrations, but you know, going back to the two and five start, since then they're 17 and 14, so they are playing better baseball. And since that win in Toronto, they are, let's see, 4 0, 6 2, 7 4. They're 8 4, I think, since winning that last game in Toronto. So they are playing some pretty decent baseball right now. They're a 500 team with a plus 21 run differential. They're 4 11 in one run games. They've been, again, I don't point, it's not all bad luck when you lose one run games, but to be that for a team that I think is this good to be that bad in one run games is a bit of bad luck. Stuff like that should kind of come around. I, I think this team is going to be just fine. Um, and remember, this was game 38. I mean, there's still 124 games remaining. I've said it before, we've not even hit the dog days of summer yet for baseball. We are still in the early stages of the season. I say it in every video, if you can hang around the 500 mark getting to June, you've got a chance. Because that means you're an 8-4, and 9-3 and three stretch away from, you know, being right there in that wild card position. So nice win for the Mariners tonight. Good to get it. Good way to start this road trip. And, you know, obviously great start from Marco. But more importantly, Julio Rodriguez possibly being back um, is probably the most important thing to take away for the Mariners from this game. So that's all I got for tonight. Um, I'm not going to lie, this game kind of just went by. Uh, maybe it's the 340 start just got me, but um, it, it just kind of was like ho-hum. It just happened, you know what I mean? So it, it wasn't a super emotional game. The Mariners just jumped out and held on. So nice W. Tomorrow I will have a post-game recap up in the night. Um, I've got a really busy day tomorrow, so it's probably going to be a late post-game recap considering it's a 10 a.m. game. Um, so I, it'll be up later, to, uh, later tonight, or later tomorrow night. Um, I hope everybody has a great weekend, a great start to it with your Friday night. Enjoy it. Enjoy the Mariners win, and I will see you guys all tomorrow night. As always, go M's, and have a great rest of your evening. Peace.